In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with your Outlook profile outside of Outlook. In Windows 8, you'll open the charm bar by hovering on the right side of the screen, click the Settings button, and then click Control Panel. In the Search Control Panel dialog, type Mail, and then double click to open the Mail applet. Click the Show Profiles button to view the number of profiles you have. If you want to delete a profile, click the Remove button. If you want to add a new profile, click the Add button, type in a new profile name, then type in your name, email address, and password. Click Next, and Outlook will look for your account settings and create the account for you. When the profile is set up, you can either click Add a New Account if you want to add a second account to the profile. You can click the Change Account Settings button and then Next if you need to edit any of your settings. Click the More Settings button if you need to change any other settings. Depending on the type of account you have, you may have different options on the dialog when you click on More Settings. And when you're finished, you can click Finish. This will return you to the Mail applet. If you want to edit the current profile, you'll select it and choose Properties. And there you can change your email account settings, as we did before. Or the data files will open you to the Data Files tab. You'll have ex access to everything that is in your account. You can choose to be prompted for a profile when you click on the Outlook icon or to always use a specific profile. If you have multiple profiles, you may want to be prompted. And if you want to set a default profile, you choose Always Use This Profile, select the profile that you want to be your default, and then click Prompt for a Profile to be used. When you start Outlook, it will always prompt you for a profile. Selected profile will be listed as the default. You can return to this screen at any time to change this setting. You can see I have the one profiles available there, and I can select a different profile if I want to. I can return to this screen to delete the profile. If I only have one profile, I will probably want to always use the same profile. 